Is hiking a fun activity? Well, it really depends. If you hike with your friends through peaceful hills and woods, then yes. However, if you hike through old mystic woods where an old monster lies, then definitely not. Welcome back, guys. It's Motion Recaps again. And today we're covering the 2017 horror movie, The Ritual. Spoilers ahead. A group of college friends goes hiking in the Swedish forests to honor their dead friend's wish. When one of them loses his footing and injures his knee, impairing his ability to walk, the group takes an alternative path through the mysterious woods. The group then finds the dead body of a goat, and then they spend a terrifying night in an abandoned cabin. They begin to lose their sanity, but the greatest threat is still to be revealed. The group is not alone in these dangerous woods. There's something ancient and evil following them. And I'm not saying you're ancient and evil, but would you please do us a favor and follow us? Well, subscribe to this channel anyway, and like this video too! And if you want to take it to the next level, hit that bell icon to be notified of when we got another movie recap ready for you to enjoy. It really helps us grow our wonderful community here, and we'd love to share with you some more movies. So go ahead and do that for us right now, alright? Okay, well let's carry on with this movie, The Ritual. Luke, Robert, Hutch, Dom, and Phil are old college friends. They're spending a casual night in a pub, debating where they should travel for the holidays. Everyone is recommending some locations, but they can't decide. Robert recommends hiking in Sweden. Even so, some of them don't agree. Later that night, the group is walking through the streets, and Luke tells them that he plans to buy some alcohol. No one wants to drink, saying that they're older now and that they need to get back home. However, Robert volunteers to go with Luke to the store. There, the two of them see a cashier lying on the floor. She's heavily beaten. The duo figures out that they're robbers in the store, and Luke quickly hides. The robbers approach Robert, and they take from him his wallet and watch. They demand for him to give up his wedding ring as well, but when Robert refuses, one of the robbers beats him to death. Suddenly, Luke wakes up and he gets out of his tent. Six months have passed since that incident. The group has traveled to Sweden to honor Robert's will. Soon the others wake up, and then they get going. After some time walking, they arrive at the top of one hill. There, they make an altar for Robert, and they say their last goodbyes to him. That night, Hutch approaches Luke while he's smoking a cigarette. They talk a little in the woods, and Hutch sees some light in the distance. He and Luke assume that it's a lodge. Heavy rain catches them the next day, and the group packs their things quickly. They start walking. After some time, Dom injures his leg, and he acts like he's in great pain. Luke and Hutch don't believe him, but Hutch tells Luke that maybe it'd be good if they cut a path through the woods. That way, they'll arrive at the lodge, and someone will be able to take care of Dom's injury. Luke agrees, and they head out to the woods. The group sees an old rusty van outside the woods, but they don't pay any attention to it. They enter the woods, and after some time of walking, they make a stop to take some pictures. Hutch checks the compass, and the group gets back to walking. The woods are really dark, and the group is breaking tree branches so they can pass. They begin to talk and daydream about food. Everyone is revealing their food wishes. Their hunger is already having them in its paws. However, their appetite dies as they see a truly horrific and graphic sight. A gutted black goat is impaled on tree branches. The group is scared, and they have tons of questions because they don't know what kind of animal could do that to a goat. Hutch notices that the blood is still dripping from the corpse, which means that it's fresh. The group moves along. Night falls, and the rain catches them again, but by pure luck, they manage to find an abandoned old cabin in the woods. They break in and quickly get inside, but Luke hears tree branches cracking and something roaring in the distance. Phil pulls him into the house, and when Luke asks the others if they heard the same thing as him, everyone tells him that they didn't. Hutch then tells them to find something that they can burn and warm themselves. Phil goes upstairs, and he immediately calls the others when he opens one door. They gather around, and they see a weird headless statue that has antlers instead of hands. Everyone is freaking out a little, and they go back downstairs and make a fire to warm themselves. They get into their sleeping bags, and everyone manages to fall asleep, despite the creepy atmosphere in the air. The faint growls echo outside, but no one can hear them. A bright light wakes up Luke, and he goes outside to check it out. He opens the door and enters the store where Robert died. He takes a bottle of vodka, and a drop of blood falls on it. Something pulls the shelf, and Luke wakes up. It's morning, and he has a wound on his chest. He quickly gets back to the cabin, and there he wakes up Hutch, who finds out that he wet his pants in his sleep. Dom is calling for his wife, and Luke wakes him up. Luke then sees Phil's clothes lying on the stairs, and he goes upstairs to look for him. There he finds him naked in a trance in front of the weird statue. He's in his sleep, and it looks like he's praying. Luke wakes him up, and Phil freaks out. Soon the group manages to pack their things up, and then they head outside. 
Everyone gets nervous when they see a bunch of Nordic runes carved into the surrounding trees. They decide immediately to leave. Dom sees a path in the woods, and he manages to convince everyone to follow it. The group begins to walk, and after some time, they see another cabin, but they decide to pass by it. After some more walking, the group stops because Dom feels pain in his leg. Luke uses that chance to scout ahead. He gets to a nearby ridge, and there he sees a hand on one of the trees. He immediately goes back to warn the others, but Dom doesn't believe him. The situation escalates, and Luke attacks him. Hutch calms him down, and they go back to walking. Soon, they stumble upon a piece of buried cloth, and they pull a tent out of the ground. They find some old belongings. There's a wallet in there with a picture of a family, and a credit card expired in 1984. Everyone is feeling uneasy because of that finding. That night, Hutch examines Dom's knee and Phil's feet, and he tells Luke that their friends are in really bad shape. Hutch advises Luke that it would be best if he goes alone to find help. That way, Hutch will be able to stay and look after Dom and Phil. That night, Luke hears sounds of footsteps together with silent growling. He looks outside and he sees a scene from the store. Two robbers are standing next to Robert's dead body, and one of them has wide eyes, and he speaks something in an unknown language. Luke hears a noise, and he hides in his tent. Something big walks past him, and he grabs Hutch's tent. Luke wakes up, and he hears Phil screaming outside. From behind him, Luke finds out that something snatched Hutch. Luke wakes Dom, and they venture out to find their friend, leaving their things behind them. They hear Hutch's screams and some weird animal noise. They hurry to find him, but with no luck. The night passes. The group is miserably walking through the woods, hoping to find their missing friend. However, everyone is horrified when they find him dead on the branches. His stomach is wide open, and the whole sight is truly repulsive. The group then takes Hutch's dead body down, and they cover it with branches. They part ways with their friend, and they continue their walk hoping to get out of these woods. Soon they find a little creek. While drinking water, they see footprints and some objects that are left by some people. There's also a path, but they decide not to follow it. After some walking, Dom and Phil are exhausted, and Luke leaves them to rest while he scouts ahead. He sees the end of the woods, but he also sees a bunch of firelights on the horizon. He goes back to inform his friends, but he sees Phil looking for something with a flashlight. Something grabs Phil, and he screams in agony. Luke tries to run away, but he hits his head on a tree and falls on the ground. Suddenly, he's in the store again, and dead Robert is next to him. Luke carefully gets out, only to find his friends looking at him with confusion. His illusion then stops, and he sees Phil's flashlight on the ground. He grabs it, and he sees Dom hiding. He quickly joins him. Both of them forget their fight from earlier, and they're just happy to be together. They run away, and they see Phil's body in the tree. Suddenly, something is chasing them. The new duo runs for their lives, and they end up on a trail that has some type of torches around it. They follow it, and they see a house. They enter it and fall to the ground. Luke sees a human figure sitting there. He also sees someone's foot, and then everything goes black for him. Luke and Dom wake up in one room, with their hands tied. Luke makes a gap in the wall, and he sees a few people outside. Soon, two men and an old lady enter. The old lady approaches Luke, and she gives him water to drink. She also reveals his wound and she shows him that she has a similar one. The two men take Dom, and everyone leaves the room. Luke is all alone now. He hears Dom's screams for help. Through the sounds, he figures out that Dom is being tortured. A woman enters the room, and to Luke's surprise, she's speaking English. She tells Luke that they're preparing Dom for a sacrifice that will happen tonight. After some time, the people drag Dom back to the room. Dom tells Luke that they will sacrifice him to that thing that killed their friends, and that he dreamt about it in the cabin. Luke tells him that he will protect him, but he knows that he's powerless. A little later, the people tie Dom onto a big wooden rune, and then they bow down to the thing that will come. Luke watches everything, and he breaks his finger so he can release himself. Dom sees his wife, who is slowly approaching him, but when she gets too close, Dom sees that her eyes are different. Then he figures out that it's the monster. It grabs his face and shoves him into the tree branches. Luke sees everything, and the whole show terrifies him. The woman enters the room and she tells Luke that he'll worship the monster because he's marked by it. She then explains that the marked have great pain in their hearts and that the monster is choosing them because of that. She also explains to Luke that the monster is the offspring of the god Loki and that the people here are worshipping it to stay alive. After she leaves, Luke frees himself and he gets out of the room. He heads outside, but he hears weird noises and he goes upstairs to check them out. He finds a room full of corpses, but it seems that they're still alive. Luke burns the corpses and the whole cabin catches fire. The monster arrives, and everyone falls on their knees to worship it. On his way out, Luke stumbles upon the old lady, 
but he knocks her out. Then he finds a room that's full of people's belongings. He takes a rifle and two bullets. One man appears and Luke shoots him. Luke walks towards the door to leave, but the monster cuts his way off. He escapes through the back door and he gets into the woods. From there, he sees the whole monster and it's carrying the dead woman. Luke fires a shot at the monster, but it does nothing to it. The monster then begins to chase Luke. As he runs through the woods, the monster uses his mind tricks on him and he sees parts of the store in the woods. The monster catches up to him and it steps on him, implying that he needs to worship it, but Luke hits it with an axe. Then he uses that chance to escape from the forest and he finds out that the monster can't leave the woods. The monster screams at Luke and Luke screams back at it. He is the winner. Luke then walks through the hills and he sees a road in the distance. The movie ends there. And that was our recap of the movie, The Ritual. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Certainly put me off of camping or even hiking in the woods myself. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. It would certainly help us out. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, my friends.